Hey, what up, everybody? Today I'm doing my results recap, review, whatever you want to call it, of Money in the Bank. First of all, if you didn't check out my prediction video, go check that out before you watch this. And, um, was, I don't know, I thought it was a pretty good prediction video. It was my first one I ever did, so I'm trying to do these. I'll do these every pay-per-view. Um, I'll try to at least... I know it's pretty fun. Anyways, so we got the results for Money in the Bank. First of all, I gotta say, Money in the Bank was overall was really good. I really liked it. Uh, there's never really been a bad Money in the Bank either. They're all really good. So moving right along, we have the first match of the night, which was the Usos versus the Wyatts um, for a tag team championship match. Uh, the Usos win, as I predicted. It was it was actually a great match. I really liked the match. It was great, really good match. Probably the best, other than the ladder matches. This was the best one, other than the two ladder matches. So that's really awesome. I thought it was really good. The Usos have been taking championship for we're tag team champions for a really long time. I don't know. I think the Wyatts will get it though. Once like the the Wyatts will get the take because they're like I think they will. That's my honest opinion. I'm I'm thinking that the Wyatts will eventually get the tag team championship. And just while I'm on the whole tag team thing, I want to know what what the hell happened to Los Menadores and El Tuico. We haven't seen them in a while. Um, I know they're not gone or anything, but I I just kind of miss them. I thought I'd bring it up. I like them. Anyways, the match after that was the Divas Championship. Paige versus Naomi. This one was not that exciting, I have to say. Paige obviously won, like, as everyone predicted, including myself. Uh, the match was pretty boring. But an exciting thing is that AJ Lee took the championship back on Raw the same way that Paige took the championship from AJ after WrestleMania, so that is pretty cool, and I'm glad that AJ is back in the WWE. There was like three returns last night for uh, Superstars, which I thought was really cool. There was AJ, The Miz, and of course Y2J return, Chris Jericho, and I'm excited to see what they do with uh, Chris Jericho. That's pretty That's pretty awesome that they brought him back. Uh, then I think directly after that, there was the unscheduled match, so no, I couldn't really predict this. Um, Damian Sando versus Adam Rose, and well, that match was pretty ridiculous too. Uh, but this time, Damian Sando was dressed as Paul Revere. I thought it was pretty funny. I mean, it wasn't an awful match. I thought it was. I like. I really like Damian Sando. I think he's awesome on the microphone, and he should be getting way more credit. In what he gets, he should be like on the top of the WWE. He should be an A-list wrestler. He he could be. He's got amazing mic. He's awesome on the microphone. He's hilarious, and I loved when he said the elbow was coming. That was that was really funny to me. And then on Raw, he came out dressed as Vince McMahon, which was funny. And then Stephanie McMahon got mad and sent Kane out to have him didn't just choke slam him and pretty much take him out right there. Um, but. The result was Adam Rose, that match, uh, Money in the Bank, not on Raw, the match was Adam Rose winning it, the uh, match. So, there's that. Now, here's the big, actually, I'm going to save the contract ladder match and the title match for the very end, because I know the contract match came next, but real quick, what happened was there was Big E versus Rusev. And he, it honestly, it was all right in the match. Most of the matches are all right. The only real matches I thought were really good was the Usos and the ladder matches. Everything else was all right or bad. Um, Big E vs. Rusev. Big E vs. Rusev. Okay. Sorry. Just had a little problem with the mic. Big E versus Rusev. Uh, so like I said, it was all right. Big E almost got out of the accolator, which was really cool, and it would have been. I would have liked the match much more if he actually broke out of it, because no one's ever broken out of that. I would have been really sick if he got out of there. Uh, but um, that's really it for that match. It was all right. Some stuff happened. 
Uh, I don't really think Biggie's the guy that you want facing Rusev. I think Swagger is, because that was awesome what they did on Raw with Swagger throwing Rusev around. The whole Rusev, Biggie rivalry, the two big guys didn't really work out that well. So, uh, hopefully that those matches are over and we can have Swagger and, and Rusev, which would be so much better. I would like that so much more. Um, let's see. Uh, then I think after that, oh, there was um, Layla and um, Summer Rae. Uh, <laughs> I predicted Summer Rae. Layla won, but who honestly cares? That match was ridiculous. It was funny. Some parts were, but I don't know the whole fa it, the whole Fandango and Summer Rae and Layla storyline is getting pretty ridiculous. It's funny though. I mean, it's something you can laugh at. It's not, it's not uh, the greatest thing going on in the WWE, but it's it's all right. <laughs> I don't I don't really care too much for it, but I mean I'll watch it if it's on because it's it's, it's funny. It's it's stupid. It's stupid funny. I don't know what it is about it. It's just Fandango. Everything about Fandango is so cheesy, but it's... Oh. God. Uh, so now onto the contract match. This is the stuff I really want to talk about. The contract match and the championship match. It's the contract match. We all know the winner was Seth Rollins, which I saw coming. I didn't... I kind of... I was re kind of shocked when it happened... Because I really wanted Ambrose to win. Um, but he didn't. Rollins did. I was shocked at first. I was like, well, I mean, it was only between them. The only two people that you knew were going to win it was Rollins or Ambrose. It was either one of the two. So, um, it was a great match, though. I really liked it. And if you guys don't know the way Rollins won was... Ambrose was injured at the beginning of the match and had to leave, and Rollins was going to the top to get the to get the contract. Ugh. Rollins was going to the top to get the contract, and Ambrose comes out, hits him with the chair, knocks him down. Ambrose is going up. Kane comes out. Right before, like Ambrose is literally fingertips away from the contract, comes out, knocks Ambrose off. Seth Rollins goes up to get the contract, which. You know, I mean, it's all storyline. They're trying to make us really hate Rollins. Rollins the sellout. Uh, there was some really awesome parts, though. Like, Rollins, Ambrose suplexing Rollins. This is how uh, Ambrose actually got injured. He suplexed Rollins off the very top of the ladder, which was crazy. Um, Rollins took a real big beating to this match. Uh... He also got thrown off of the top of the ladder, I think by uh, Rob Van Dam, and there was a bridge made, you know how they do that where they have a bridge, like they take a ladder, stick it in the ladder that's in the middle and have it on the the um, ropes, well he, if you watch the thing, like the, the actual money in the bank, he got thrown onto that which was awesome, that was great, great stuff right there. Uh, and Dolph, Dolph Ziggler zigzagged, I believe, Jack Swagger. I can't remember this, like, correct. I can't remember all of this correctly, because it was, a, it was like, three nights ago. That was awesome. Kofi Kingston did something, like, the first three minutes, he's been, he already did something amazing where he got, he was at the top of the ladder, got pushed off, and as he's getting pushed off, he jumps on the top rope, and off the rope, bounces off it onto everybody that's got knocked out of the ring, which is phenomenal. And just... Bad News Barrett, that's what I want to talk about, Bad News Barrett got injured on Smackdown, and they were showing it on Raw, where Swagger threw him into the, um, the, wa the, uh, the boards thing, you know what that is, like, where the, separates the crowd from the, people got thrown into that, and he tore, or dislocated and tore m his shoulder muscles, dislocated it, his shoulder, and tore a few muscles, and he'll be out for several months, so the Intercontinental Championship is on the line. That's really unfortunate. We won't see Bad News Bear for a couple months. And that he wasn't in the contract match, which sucked. And it really sucked that they didn't replace him. So they take him out, but they don't replace him. That They really sh should have replaced him with someone. But man, that really sucks that he got injured. There's nothing really the WWE can do that he got injured. But they sh really should have put a replacement. And that would have made it much better. And just for... 
the heck of it, I'm gonna say that Rollins tried to cash in on Monday Night Raw last night, and didn't, it didn't, um, what happened was, it was John Cena versus Randy, John Cena and Roman Reigns versus Randy Orton and Kane, and this, all four of those guys are gonna be, uh, going, or having a championship match at Battleground for John Cena's title, and what happened was Kane tombstone pile-drived Cena, and it was really cool the way they did because I really thought Cena was injured the way everyone was kind of coming out it really looked like he really got hurt but then what happened then once I heard you know Rollins trying to cash in for money in the bank uh he coming out to cash it in I kind of knew it was all staged but that was cool how he came out he comes out he's the bell never rang because I don't, I think it was because they Cena got Tombstone pile drived. Ah, uh, what did my recording go off? Oh no, we're still going. Okay. So I don't know. They never rung the bell, and Ambrose comes out and pumbles Seth Rollins. That was awesome, and it never cashed in. He never. So it kind of sucked. I wish he would have cashed in and didn't get it. That would have been awesome. I would have loved that. But. On to the actual championship match. As we all know, Cena won the match. And the way he won it was awesome. Because what happened was, at the, actually at the beginning of the match, Randy won got his head destroyed by um, Roman Reigns. He threw the ladder on his head and he got a giant-ass cut. He had to get staples and all that. He had blood all over his face the entire match. And blood over every, like blood was everywhere. It was kind of cool. <laughs> there was actual, someone actually got screwed up. And Randy Orton got screwed up in WrestleMania too when he got when he RKO'd Daniel Bryan where there's the Batista bomb, and then he he RKO'd Daniel Bryan on the um the table and he got the laying on a monitor and got cut. So that's Randy Orton's getting hurt a lot. Anyways, what happened was Randy Orton was at the top after a huge ass battle with Roman Reigns on the ladder. He's at the top. He's about to get it. Roman Reigns pulls him down. AA's Randy Orton. AA's Kane because Kane was really only there to help out. Randy Orton, and that, by the way, was uh, back to the contract match. That was the authority's plan B, was having Kane help Rollins win the contract. A80 gets the contract, which is awesome. There's some really good things happen in this match, too. There's the ladder tilt. They had this ladder on a tilt because they had a ladder through it, which really was really awesome how they had that. And it's Sheamus and Cesaro and a whole bunch of guys fighting on it. And Sheamus and Cesaro dangling off the rope. Or not the rope, the, um, the belts. It was really cool, and they were fighting for it there. Like I said, Orton's head was screwed up. Orton almost won. That was crazy. I really thought Orton was going to win when he was that, that close. Um, the Wyatts, oh, Bray Wyatt, did he really was in control. So was Sheamus. They both dominated the match like a, a lot. Like, I didn't think it was going to be... And, and Roman Reigns did too. Like, I didn't think it was going to be Cena because he was kind of just in the background of it all. Like... Most of the match was Sheamus, Cesaro, Bray, Wy Bray Wyatt, Randy Orton, and Roman Reigns. He was just kind of in the background. Him and Cesaro, well, yeah, Cesaro was in it a lot too, but so he just kind of came out at the end and did a whole bunch of stuff, which was uh, neat. But I'm glad he won. He's my favorite wrestler. So, how did I do for predictions? Um, for the World Heavyweight Championship match, I predicted Roman Reigns. I really thought Roman Reigns was going to get it. Uh, but I'm glad it's Cena, because Cena is my favorite. He always has been. Um, but I don't know, like, it's just, Cena is just the safe way to do it, because Roman Reigns is just too young. Sheamus, can't really do anything with him. Bray Wyatt, you could do, but I think they will do it later. They just, they haven't really figured it out yet. Alberto Del Rio... He actually, oh, that's what I want to say, but to do real, he got some good kicks in. Like, he smacked Bray Wyatt in the face. Uh, they could have done Cesaro. There's was, there was some people, like, there's some spoilers. There was, uh, there was spoilers saying it was either going to be Cesaro or John Cena. So I was thinking about maybe one of those two, maybe Roman Reigns. But they could have done Cesaro, but like I said, it's not, like, he's the safest one to do it with. And Randy Orton is another, was another one that was a possibility, but... He had a pretty bad title reign back for this earlier this year, so so I got that one wrong. The Usos, 
the tag team championship match I got right. There was one right. The Adam Rose match wasn't scheduled, so I couldn't have predicted it. The contract match, I predicted Dean, a Dean Ambrose, but I said it could be possible for Seth Rollins win. Very possible. It's either one of those two, but I got that wrong. Uh, the Divas match, I got right, obviously. Um, the Summer Rain Layla match, I got wrong. The Big E versus Rusev, I got wrong. Damn, I did pretty bad, so... Wait, I picked Big E, so... Man, only got two right. Wow, I did pretty awful for the predictions. Hopefully, I'll get better at these. So, I'm going to do a prediction video and a result video for every pay-per-view from now on. I'll try to do it every month. So, I'll see you guys later. So, peace out. I'll see you guys, WWE fans. Uh, I'll see you guys next month. And for my regular subscribers, I will see you tomorrow because I'll try to get a video out tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then the next day. Try to do a video every day. Anyways, this has been a long-ass video. Probably my longest video yet, so I'll see you guys later. So, peace out.